गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर लर्निंग चैप्टर नंबर टेन लाइट रिफ्रैक्शन एंड रिफ्रैक्शन पार्ट टू रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट सो टिल नाउ वी हैव स्टडीड द रूल्स ऑफ ड्रॉइंग रे डायग्राम्स फॉर स्पेरिकल लेंसेज फॉर नाउ टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट द हाउ टू ड्रॉ रे डायग्राम्स बाई कन्वेक्स लेंसेज फॉर द फ्लोइंग पोजिशन दैट इज एट इन्फिनिटी एट फोकस एफ वन at 2f1 between 2f1 and f1 now before beginning the ray diagrams by convex lenses i would like you to remember and practice all the three rules which we have learned in the previous video those three rules will be helpful in drawing the ray diagrams for both of the lenses let me recap it for you any ray of light parallel to the principal axis after refraction will pass through the focus this was the first rule second rule was that any ray of light passing through the principal focus of the lens will pass parallel to the principal axis after refraction then any ray of light passing through the optical center of the convex lens will go undeviated So these were the three rules. Now let us draw the ray diagrams of the convex lenses. Now uh, the object is at infinity. The first position of object is at infinity. So whenever the object is at infinity, like sun, I have given you the example earlier also. Like sun, the object is at infinity. A parallel rays of light will come. two yeah you can you have to take two rays at least so two parallel rays of light will come first ray of light will refract so the because this is a lens convex lens here it will go undergo refraction and then it will pass through the focus of the convex lens of on the other side that is f2 then again a ray of light will come parallel ray of light will come it will Uh, refracted from here and pass through the focus on the other side so both the rays of light you can see here are meeting at a point known as focus that is f2 so here the image will be formed and the image will be formed as point size or highly diminished point size image will be drawn and the size nature of the image will be real and inverted just as concave mirror it forms convex lens forms real and inverted image now let us take the second position of the object at f now f means principal focus and here we will take left hand side focus that is f1 for the object Position of object. So the when the object is at f one, two rays of light will come from the object. First ray will be parallel, which goes refraction, undergoes refraction, and passes through the focus on the other side. And second ray we will take passing through the optical center. It will go undeviated. So you can see here two rays of light is coming, one parallel to the principal axis. passes through the focus on the other side and one passing through the optical center goes undeviated both the rays of light will be parallel that is the refracted rays of light will be parallel and it will, the image will be formed somewhere at the infinity now when the image is formed at infinity like the sun then highly in enlarged image or highly magnified image of the object is formed the image is much larger than the object and the nature of image will be real and inverted just as the concave mirror so the next position of the object let us take it at 2f the object is at 2f it means here 2f1 left hand side 2f that is center of curvature 1 two rays of light will come one goes parallel to the principal axis after refraction will pass through the focus on the other side that is f2 and one which is passing through the optical center 
both the rays of light will meet somewhere at 2f2 at 2f2 the object was at 2f1 the object's image will be formed at 2f2 such as um, as we remember when the object was used to be at c then the image was formed to be at c of the convex concave mirror okay similarly here the when the object is at 2f1 then the object's image will be formed at 2f2 the size of the image will be same as that of the object and the nature of the image will be real and inverted now let us take the position of object between f and 2f that is f1 and 2f1 so the object is somewhere between f1 and 2f1 we have to take two rays out of the four rule uh, out of the three rules we have to take any two rays and also remember the rays will be converged on the right hand side because it's a convex lens it will converge all the light rays so two rays first ray will come parallel to the principal axis through the object and then after refraction it will goes through the principal focus on the other side similarly and the ray will come passing through the optical center it will go, uh, remain undeviated after that they will meet somewhere beyond 2f2 on the other side here you can see and here the image is formed beyond f2 f2 the image is enlarged and magnified than the object it is larger than the object and the nature of the image is real and inverted let us take the position of object beyond 2f we have just learned or just draw the ray diagram when the object was between 2f1 and f1 the image was formed beyond 2f1 2f2 on the other side now we are taking the object at 2f beyond 2f1 that is here so the object is standing here let us see where the image will be formed two rays of light will come first parallel to the principal axis will pass through the f2 that is principal focus on the other side then a ray of light will come which will pass through the optical center it will go undeviated after refraction they both will meet at a point between 2f2 and f2 so the image will be formed between f2 and 2f2 the image will be diminished diminished means smaller than the object and it will form real and the nature of the image will be nature real and inverted as you can see if the image is like this the if the object is like this the image is form inverted now for your home assignment you have to practice all these ray diagrams for following positions of the object in this you have to do in your notebook next day we will learn about the ray diagrams through concave lenses till then take care and thank you